Hey there guys and gals, Rob here with Deluxe Gaming and welcome back to Stonehearth Alpha 17. We're now in episode 2 and Castle Fork Spire. Ah, uh, the early days of Castle Fork Spire. We're starting to build fortifications and we're going to dig into the mountain and we shall be glorious. It's going to be magnificent building a mountain city. I, I, I have some vision for it and I, I kind of imag imagine, you know... Uh, what was it? Uh, Minas Tirith. You know, Minas Tirith was kind of built on the side of a mountain. I kind of imagine that. Like, that was from, of course, Lord of the Rings, from the actual movies. But I'm wondering if we could actually build buildings inside of inside of the mountain. And I think I think when we move up a level, like when we build stairs and we move uh, start to dig out the second level, it'll create a floor. And I think we can remove that floor and maybe we can actually even build buildings on the inside of the mountain. Wouldn't that be great? Oh, that'd be so cool. But, you know, that's that's a ways from now. We've got a ways to go. We've got, we got a lot of digging to do. And in the meantime, and in between time, you guys left me almost 200 messages. <laughs> 200 messages, all wanting names in the game. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to give everybody names in the game, especially at the beginning. We only have seven people, so I ch chose the first seven people in line. And of course, you know, we may get to you. Who knows? Because we're playing on hard, people may die, and we may have to replenish our troops. I have no idea. So don't fret. You may get in still, but don't be worried. You know what? Either way, I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful that you guys, you know, even leave comments. I'm so, I'm so honored to have that. Anyway, so let's go through our current list and of course we may even get some more people today who knows it depends on how good we do i guess so we've got owl the carpenter welcome owl of course he is wielding our saw then we have merlin the archer who currently has a sword but will eventually one day be an archer now merlin was uh, traditionally in british lore i think it's british lore or legend uh, merlin was the wizard in uh, uh in the in Camelot. Yeah, Merlin was a wizard. So yeah, that's kind of cool. So Merlin the Archer. And then we've got Sir Chris. Chris is going to be our knight. And then we've got Shinx. <laughs> okay, so somebody wanted me to name somebody Shinxy after his blonde blue-eyed girlfriend. Now, unfortunately, we don't have any blonde blue-eyed anybody. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't think you can have blue eyes in this game. I think everybody ends up with black eyes. And quite honestly, it's kind of hard to normally match up anybody with anybody. So because, you know, you just get most usually I only get women. <laughs> but actually, we have some men this time. But anyway, so you got Shinxi. I will name you Shinxi the blonde, even though you are not blonde. You have very dark hair and dark skin. <laughs> but that's okay. And Shinxi the blonde, you are going to be our herbalist, our apprentice herbalist for now. Who knows where your career may take you. And then Siki the trapper. Does it does it look like Siki's not wearing a shirt? Uh, we need to take, take a look at this. Where where is where is Shik's, where is Siki? Siki, where are you? <laughs> I don't know. We'll we'll find Siki, but it looks looks like Siki's not wearing a shirt. <laughs> that's kind of funny, actually. That's that's super funny. Anyway, so with the, let's move on. <laughs> Siki Siki's kind of sick. He's wearing not wearing a shirt. And then of course somebody wanted to have Donald Trump. So Donald Trump, I figured. How better, how better to honor, honor Donald Trump by giving him dark skin and a mohawk? <laughs> and know that, to, you know, just before you say, what did you call him? Donald Trump the fu- No, it's Donald Trump the farmer. <laughs> it's supposed to say Donald Trump the farmer. There we go. But it looks funny that way. <laughs> Ah, so good. So good. And then we have Otrin the Mason. So welcome to all of our new people into our Fort Fort. Uh, what is this? Fork Spire. Fort Fork Spire. Oh, so good. So good. And immediately, as soon as I started the game and after I got everybody named, we got attacked by more golems. It, this is going to be hairy. I have a feeling this is going to be super, super, super hairy. We're going to be attacked constantly. So let's get moving. <laughs> and uh, yes, our... Otra who oh, Owl the Carpenter is currently still building our fences. We need to get our fence across here so that I wonder if we'll even get attacked at all. Like, can they go through the fences? I don't think so. I don't think so. So I think we will be, I'm hoping, well, I mean, I don't even know. Like, should I be hoping that we will be 100% protected if we're behind a fence? I don't know. I wonder if, you know, you know what I'm really looking forward to is a time where you can actually lock doors and make it so that uh, your own guys can't go through doors and gates and stuff. Wow, he's taking a lot of damage. Should maybe we send out our other guy? He's sleeping though. I don't want to. I don't want to bug him. What we do need to do is get our uh, workbench for our healer ready. Let's get that. Or did we build that? I don't think so. Let's just be sure. I just want to be sure. It's been a couple days. <laughs> um, no, we didn't get that up and running yet. So let's get the the healer's workbench. <laughs> the trapper's just standing there. He's killing a golem. Dude, wow, he took a lot of damage. Three golems. I guess three on one, it kind of makes sense. But anyway, so let's get our healer's bench. Because we're going to need that sooner than later. And we do have some flowers right away too as well. So let's get that built. And, oh, look, we can already build... Oh, no, the cleric's tomb. We're going to be able to build that at level two. 
requires a herbalist level level two, and and then I think our herbalist can become a cleric right away. But I think we st will still need need a healer, like a herbalist, to build potions and stuff. Because I think the cleric is strictly a warrior class. I mean, I don't I don't want to buy I don't want to get a cleric right away because I think that would just I don't know. Although our warriors are actually doing work too as well, which is actually super super handy. Um, I think we're gonna need more than twenty five fences. So let's also. Oh, also, let's get our masons. Let's get our masons chisel going right now too, as well. No time like the present, be, present because we need to get our blacksmith and, of course, our engineer. I'm looking so forward to the engineer, but we need to get a few things in place. Like we need to have a blacksmith up to level six, I think, level six blast, blacksmith before we can get uh, the engineer's tool. And then I think we have to convert our blacksmith into an engineer. So it's a lot. It's a lot to actually get an engineer. So also, we're gonna increase the amount of fences. Uh, where are they again? Okay, there we go. So let's, I don't know, let's, well, well I mean, it doesn't hurt to have extras of these anyway. Um, uh, actually, no, 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 we don't, no, 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 that's fine. Actually, you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking we actually maybe sh shouldn't even do the wooden fences. Why don't we get our mason up and get our mason building? It's good to have a few fences. We might be use those in a pinch or something. And let's not do, hold on, let's not do three of these. Let's just do one. You know what? We're not in... Ah, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what the right answer is. I think we'll do one fence for now because uh, our mason's actually more important and we can get our mason building those fences immediately. And we're going to have a lot of stone too as well. So, okay. So you're trapping, you're doing all, okay. Daily update. Uh, we might, yeah, we have enough food. We have enough morale. We do not have enough met net worth. We it's, Net worth is going to be tricky on this one because we're not building buildings like we normally are. Mmm, that is going to be tricky. Okay, so in the meantime, let us get, while we're building some of those other things, we probably already have that bench already, that uh, healer's bench. That won't take long, actually. Let's just get that up then right away. And then our healer is good to go, yes. Uh, we can't place, oh, we can place it inside. Okay, so that's good. Um, Let's put the healer actually near the beds for right now. That seems like a, an appropriate place. Like, she's, the healer's there to, you know, make sure everybody's uh, nice and healed up while they're sleeping and I, I don't think that matters actually I don't think it matters where where he is because he, he just builds potions and bandages and stuff and then I think the guys just take them when they need them kind of thing or they keep them on them I'm not entirely sure how that works yet I we only got to see a glimpse of it last time in the last series besides that people didn't seem to be taking nearly as much damage as they are already here <laughs> so we need to make sure that that is that is definitely flowing and working well in the meantime also we need to get we need to get uh, some harvest harvesting action happening here let's make sure that we've got these flowers harvested are we still trying to get some flowers hold on let's go back up here looks like oh I see so what are you trying to get oh you're trying to get that wood that's good actually we need to get all that all the wood we can maybe we should get some more of those berries but we're gonna get a farm going pretty soon here Donald Trump is gonna start digging holes <laughs> or get or you know getting the farm going uh, all right we still need to get the oh wow Okay, so we've got that ladder, but we don't have this ladder. Okay, so it's just, there's a lot of work to do for such such a small crew of guys. Now, how are we going to get some net worth? We need to build some structures or something. Hmm. I suppose we could build a little structure out here, like, hmm. We could make it like, a, a, this This will be like the little guard, the guard, the guard tower. Oh, that's brilliant. Not really a tower, but kind of a guard post. I like that. I really like that. Okay, so maybe, is there kind of a prefab? Or we could build one on our own. I don't know yet. Uh, so, oh, also now villages move up in level, so there's different tiers, or I don't know if this is implemented yet, but your town can actually move up in level, and as your town moves up in level, you get access to more prefab buildings. So right now, this is what we have access to for our camp, but eventually, once our town becomes, you know, a city or something, we get access to more different types of prefab buildings. Isn't that cool? So I think, why don't we just do, why don't we do like a prefab, just because, you know, I want to keep this moving right now, uh, we could do a prefab tiny cottage. Now, normally, I I would build my own buildings and we will in the end but you know just for something on the outside here oh because we're gonna we're also gonna need a wooden wall lantern wooden door wooden so this is a wooden building hmm wood i don't know i don't know if we should be building anything out of wood actually right now hold on how come i can't cancel this guys there we go okay <laughs> uh let's we should probably get our mason going now while we can so ultra in the mason uh you sir are going to change jobs to masonry there we go we now have our mason and let's get our mason's workbench down immediately as soon as oh royal herald ah hello there this is a new set is this the new settlement of forkspire why yes it is that's us uh, excellent monsieur burley burley hands said you'd be out here but it's always a bit a bit touch and go in the early days shall we get started started with what 
by order of Princess Danya, First Lady of the Ascendancy, and in and in whose whose dim dim dimenses you. S Demences. Okay. I, why do not? I've never heard of this word. Demences. You settle, and with the blessings of the Church of Plenty, and whose and in, in whose wisdom we all prosper. Wow, a proclamation or zzz. <laughs> wow, a proclamation. All settlements that attain local renown will be hereby recognized as official ascendancy townships with the rights, privileges, and rewards thereof. Uh, rewards. Indeed, the knowledge of the kingdom cannot be randomly dispersed into the wilderness to fall prey to goblins or wolves. However, by the princess's order, eligible towns shall win access to architectural learning and wealthier caravans for trade. This is what I was talking about, I think, raising the level of the town. You may, gain, you may gain such sufficient renown to advance a township in any three ways. Military glory, favor with the church, or approval of the craft, craft masters, which sounds most interesting. Oh, yes. Which sounds most interesting to you? Probably military, just because we're playing on hard. Military, to gain renown with the Order of Sid, you must display courage and valor. I shall give your mason a recipe. Quest for the ingredients to craft a monument worthy of your sword arm. <gasps> How else can we gain re renown? You may gain sufficient renown to advance a township in any of three ways. Oh, okay, so we can all, oh, I see. So with Craftsmasters, uh, uh, Honor those with an eye for excellence. Have your mason create a statue. Okay, same thing. Create a statue. Okay. Mason's ho. And then, oh, okay. Oh, man. I think I just actually agreed to that. Whoops. <laughs> That's fine. We'll go We'll go the craftsman route. Excellent. In addition to appropriate monument, your town will also need to have accumulated a certain level of worth. I shall leave you the requirements. I shall leave the requirements with you should you wish to consult them again, or should a different path come to appeal to you more uh, than your initial chosen road. Thank you, my lady. That's a lady? <laughs> uh, show your face! Uh, Sid's bounty be upon you. For expire, I shall leave you a bird, so you may summon me to evaluate your progress. Farewell. Ah, uh, Mace. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to pause it for just a moment. Uh, we've got a recipe. Ah, that went away too fast. Okay, well, that's fine. We've got a recipe for a statue. Statue. So. Hold on. Where? Where is it? Oh, look at this. Guildmaster skill. Oh, is that what this is? Shrine of Plenty. A place to show generosity and piety. Um, a monument to your town's military might. Or, okay, so we've got all three. So this is a craft. Wow, look at all of the material needed for that. That is crazy. That is insane. It's just, it's like modern art on the top of a bird bath. That's awesome. They just jam as much in there. And then we've got, oh, the sword and the stone, the valor of Sid. Oh, that's kind of cool. So we already have Merlin too. Oh, so we need to get goblin honor tokens, which, and you get those from destroying the goblin villages. And of course, uh, Vir Varanus. But I don't know if we have, I don't know if we'll face Varanus if we're not in the forest. And what is this? Ogre bones. Oh, dude, that's so cool. And this one is a shrine of plenty. So a place to show generosity and piety. So this is the uh, donation to the church of plenty. Do we build those? I don't know. And then we've got gold. Gold shouldn't be a problem because, of course, we will find lots of gold um, as soon as we get a blacksmith. That is so cool. So we need to get these to raise the level of our town. Oh, uh, so much. Oh, that's so good. This is exciting. This is a nice addition. I really like this. I know this is pretty new, too. This might even be just Alpha 17 that this, this appeared. But anyway, very, very exciting. <laughs> okay, so let's get our Mason stuff down because uh, no time like the present. Let's get our bench built craft now and uh let's keep it moving i want to keep the game moving this time as much as possible and also let's see if we can build any potions we should be able to build yes we're going to build all eight health potions because that is going to be super important uh of course we wouldn't mind some stamina and courage and all that but that's going to require some extra materials so courage uh, strength, of course. Oh, yeah, we can build those right away, too. But let's get the health ones going right away. I think that's the most important. And we could, of course, we could build bandages, too, as well. And we will build bandages, but... Coarse bandage, uh, light bandage. Yeah, we need actual thread for that. Oh, we're going to have to get a tailor right away, too. Um, we need we need more flowers. We need more flowers! Flowers, people. I need you to harvest all the flowers you can. Flowers is going to be so important in this one. So very important. Yeah, our guys, you know, they're doing their best, running out to grab stuff, but it's a long journey. Nothing is close by. Everything is quite a ways away. So, uh, yep, we'll just do the best we can. Best we can. So, is that our carpenter just standing there? Like, seriously? Are you just are you just standing idle? What are you doing? Okay. Uh, what can you do right now? We could actually get a table and chairs. No. What I might do, actually, is get my carpenter... Just pause one second. 
I need to understand something. Are you seriously just standing there? You're not actually going to go and fetch things and... I might get... I'll, I might relieve Owl of duty. No, no, no. He still needs to be able to build bows. And let's just take a look. What are we, what are we going to need to build bows? I think he has to be like level 6 or something. Uh, let's see here. Oh, also we need him to build the Shepherd's Crook too. So we need uh, level 4. So he's got to keep building stuff. But what do we want him to build? I think we... Well, I don't want to waste wood. What we can, I'm going to have our mason build the fencing. Um, and that he should get that uh, that workshop built pretty quick. So, but, hmm. Sorry, I'm a, li I'm a little... I, there's so much to do. That's the thing. A brand new game. There's so much to do. Maybe we'll get him building the table and chairs. That's actually a really good task. So we're going to build... Yep, yeah, we have 29. We just got to watch our wood. We got to watch our wood so, cl so close this time. So we've got the coffee table for one, or we've got the dining table. I think we'll do the dining tables. We're going to do... Uh, we're going to do, like, eight of those. That'll seat 16. Actually, if we did 10 of those, that'll seat 20. Craft 10 of those. And then craft. We'll do the nice big dining chairs. And we're going to craft 20 chairs. That would probably use up all of our wood, which might be a bit careless. We, we are still gathering a little bit more wood. And there is a little bit more wood. Yeah, well, that's fine. We've got some over here, too, as well. Uh, can we actually reach everything over here? Maybe not. We might actually... You know what we're going to have to do? Now that I see it here... Oh, let's keep things moving here. Hello, keep things moving. What we might actually have to do... Yeah, we're going to have to build another ladder. Ladders over here too as well, because they can't actually... They can't get over to this side. So we're going to have to build... Oh boy, okay, right. Let's, let's build some more ladders, guys. Let's build uh, the most efficient one we can. So that's... Because I don't think they can get... Yeah, they probably can't get across here. So let's do that. And then they should be able to get into here. Actually, nope. Yep, they will be able to build a ladder there. So they just... They haven't made it that far. So they built this one. They can... Oh, they can't... No, they can't. So let's remove this ladder. They can't because they can't get across through here, right? So let's remove that ladder. And uh, let's build another ladder right here. That way they can get up there, up there, and then up here. And they can get... Yep. That'll work. That'll work. That'll work good. Okay. Or work well. Pardon my pardon my poor English. <laughs> Harvest those flowers, man, because we need to build some bandages immediately. And also our mason's bench should be ready to go. We're going to put that outside where all of the stuff is for now. So, uh, whoops, whoops. Uh, mason's bench. Let's go here. Mason's bench. Let's just stick that right beside the carpenter for now. And then we're going to build a ton of fencing. Yes, I know we were going to do wooden fencing all the way across. I think we'll keep the wood as a backup. I, I just, I like the idea of doing stone better. I just, except he, yeah, we've got the bench. Yeah, that's fine. It's coming. It's coming. All right. So we're going to build 50 of those. Yes. Uh, we're going to have a ton of stone. So I just, I think it makes way more sense. And we're going to build three... You know what? We're going to maintain one of these in inventory because I don't know how many of these we're going to need. That, whoop. There we go. Perfect. Perfect, like so. And our carpenter's still just standing there. Right. So we need to get... No, he's he's working. He's doing a good job. Um, we're running out of storage. How is, how is our uh, how's our inside construction coming along? Looks like they're just about done. As soon as they're done that, we can move our storage inside. As soon as they're done that. And also, we need to get some lighting in here, too. So maybe... Uh, Mason recipe. Oh, Shrine of Plenty. Quest for a township. Oh, hold on. Pause, pause, pause. What... Okay, so, <laughs> satisfy any of the following requirements to qualify for Sid's, for, to qualify for township status. Sid's Valor, build in place a Valor of Sid, attain the net worth of 4,000. Church of Plenty, attain the net worth of 6,000. Okay, so, we need, we need to build this stuff, but, I mean, it's, it's gonna take a long time. It's, it's gonna take a long time to build any of these things because of the requirements. Like, they're, it's pretty intense. <laughs> Owl the Carpenter has reached Carpenter level 3, that's good. He needs level 4 or 5, I'm not sure. To build the bow, artistic impression. When an imp uh, so when inspiration strikes, the carpenter may embellish his works with in unexpected ways. We didn't see a lot of that in the last series. Uh, I guess we can keep things moving again. Sid the trapper. Oh, charm pet. I wonder if that works now. So the trapper will occasionally choose to turn a particularly fine animal into a pet. So and he qualifies now for advanced jobs, which means shepherding and all that kind of stuff. But we're not going to worry about that for a while. I think we're happy with the way things are. Let's get our farmer going. Uh, so do we? I think we already have a who? Donald, <laughs> you're going to work in the fields, my friend. You're always going to work in the fields. <laughs> That's funny. Sorry, it's it's kind of I don't know. It's there's some kind of justice in that for me. I don't know why. Um, you are going to be a farmer. Welcome, Donald. Don't get yourself dirty. 
<laughs> All right, let's build some farms. I don't remember which way the farms go. Uh, hold on, let's just go back here and let's... Okay, he's picking that up right now. Perfect. Um, let's just build a generic farm for now. I think... Hmm. By generic... Uh, well, we could use our old trick. We could do this, but I don't remember which way the farms go. I don't remember if they're... You know what? We'll just experiment. We'll, we're going to build one row of carrots. I just want to see how he plants them. Because if you do this right, you can have uh, single rows all the way across and just make it more efficient. But they, it has to be facing the right direction. I don't remember if it's this way or the other way. So we're just going to get him to build that uh, first row and then we'll know. All right. So things are coming along nicely. Coming along nicely. We have two warriors. Let's take a look at everybody. So we have two warriors. Now, is there anybody that doesn't have a profession yet? Everybody has a profession. Everybody has a profession. How do you like that? This is the first game ever where everybody has had a profession right from the get-go. Isn't that amazing? And that means nobody's digging. Oh, actually, I wonder. I wonder. Um, let's go to... So n there's only one person. Okay, Otrin, I don't want you to worry about building. So nobody can actually mine right now. Maybe we should actually... Oh, boy. That, maybe we've got too many people here. Actually, with employ... We need we need general labor. General labor. They're the people that do all the, the mining and all of the, the hauling and all of the, the, the resource gathering and stuff. And we, if we don't have that um, and we've got everybody just, you know, building, building stuff, it's great. But eventually we're going to run out of stuff. You know what I mean? So, hmm. Kind of... A, oh, uh, that row looks really great. Perfect. Donald, you did a good job. <laughs> so now we can actually finish off the farm. And I think we're going to do that right here. So we're going to do, so we've done run, one row of carrots. We're going to do a row of turnips. Ugh. <laughs> then we're going to, whoops. And then we're going to do a row of corn. And then we're going to do, oh, that's right. The Ascendancy have a lot more food options. Oh, and then some grain. I don't know that we need grain right now, like wheat. Uh, what was that? Oh, somebody just got a level. Uh, hold on, let's just see here. Uh, Mason recipe. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, Mason level two. Okay, that's good. It's good, it's good, it's good, it's good. All right, and let's go back. So again, I don't know if I need wheat right now. I don't know if that does anything for me, but pumpkins do. Ha ha ha! And oh, that's right, we can grow silkweed. We don't have to worry about bringing in uh, anything else. So we'll we'll do a row of silkweed in here. Sure, why not? Why not? It doesn't hurt. And we'll come back and we'll probably do some carrots then. Oh, we can also grow the flowers right from here too. Oh, we pro well, I'm not gonna do that because we do have we do have some fair a fair amount of flowers. But if we actually if we did a row of them, then we don't have to worry about manually harvesting either. So that's a good idea. And that th I think we'll do another farm down here, pretty much identical. So we're gonna do carrots. Yes, we're gonna do turnips. So it's a little crowded, but this it's uh, this is the way it's gonna be for a while because um, eventually we're gonna probably have our farms on the top of the mountain. But for now, um, we need to, we need to have them somewhere, somewhere, right? So this is about as good a place as any. So pumpkins, yes, and we're gonna do another row of no. You know, what? I think only one row of silkweed, maybe one row of silkweed. I think is fine. If we need to, if we need more, we'll get more. Let's do another row of carrots because carrots are just kind of a nice little staple. And then do another row of turnips. Again, a nice little staple. And I, I don't want to really block off that door. So that's good for now. I think that's probably more than enough food, but we'll see. Um, so far, we haven't been attacked again. That's good. Uh, but yeah, everybody's everybody's busy uh, working their trades, and unfortunately, unfortunately, we're not doing any of this any digging, any of the necessary digging. So maybe I don't know. Hmm. What do we do? Oh, well, uh, these guys are actually running. Who are the? Oh, actually, our warriors might be doing most of. Uh, our herbalist is doing a little bit of gathering too as well. So our net worth is going up, but it's going to be really slow until we start actually putting some buildings down. And maybe maybe getting that fence up might help. So let's do that. Let's start getting some of that fence down. Yes. Yes. There we go. And I think we'll have the fence. I want to give us lots of room for farming and stuff. So, oh, yeah, I guess we might have to move the trapper a little bit. That'll be fine. That'll be fine. Okay, so there we go. Let's rotate this sucker. Can I do it right up against the wall? I hope so. Will they be able to get through there? They might be able to get through there. What if I rotated this like that? Can I go? I can't go right up against the wall, eh? They might be able to get through that. That's not good. We, But we might be able to block it off by building building some blocks in here or something. I don't know. That, that, I was having that problem last time is that, that they were able to walk through. The enemies were able to walk through little, little, little holes like that. So I don't know. I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. So you guys start building this. I love that. Actually, I, you know what? Even though they all have jobs and they're all working their trades, they're still doing other things in their in-between time. So I think that part is okay. Uh, we need to get, we need to get that uh, some 
some gates ready to go. And we're probably going to need at least two. So maybe what I'll do is I will manually put in an order for two of them. And we'll get that prioritized. Hello. Sometimes when I click on things, it doesn't happen. <laughs> That's really weird. So we're going to get two prioritized up top here. So get our mason building those right away. And uh, yes, perfect. This will also improve our... Uh, wealth value so that we can get some new people immediately. We're gonna run this at slow most of the time By the way guys if you're new here I run this game at slow because it's always a lot going on and I don't like missing a thing Besides that every time I've sped it up weird things start happening when you speed it up too much in this game They, they haven't quite hashed out the speed thing quite yet. Maybe it's gotten better. I don't know check requirements I just want to see here Oh yeah. Oh, okay. So we we can keep coming back to coming back to this and checking the requirements and then we and then I assume because I saw this on a the stream. They're talking about this on the stream. You get prefabs. You get uh, more prefabs opened up to you, which is good. Although I don't necessarily want more wood prefabs. <laughs> Most of our buildings are probably going to be made of stone. Speaking of, we can start building our first homes too as well. So, uh, well, this is going to be a guard post, as I said before. Um, oh, we're running out of storage. Oh, man, we need to get this dug out, guys. Hmm. Okay, well, uh, hmm. You know what? Let's get our... Let's turn... Let's get Owl back let's change his job back to civilian for now or to worker promotion to worker i need him to, to start digging so we could also change it so that his priority is of course digging so let's let's focus you on mining for now so that way we can get that uh, get all this stuff dug out because we can't move our storage until all of this is dug out it's really it's really unfortunate um there's there's so much to do at the beginning of a game there's so much to do i don't know how people play these types of games fast like especially at the beginning like uh, there's just so much to do like we've got to move all of this stuff inside now we're gonna get our storage moved we've got tons of different build projects in progress we've got to get that fence up there's so much so I'm trying to do a little bits little bits and pieces of everything as time goes on all right perfect so we can get some more of this up so I want to have at least two gates uh, I hate it when I make mistakes doing this too as well so I'm trying to be really careful <laughs> I'm gonna put another gate uh, on the east side here so that they have multiple ways to escape or, of course, uh, leave and go do their things like the trappers and stuff. So that's probably good. How Exactly how wide are these? Is it, is it like two, two blocks? I think that's right. We could just wait. So one, two, like that. I think that's right. Uh, I'll wait. I just want to be sure. So one, two. I think it's, it's two. One, two. Pretty sure. We'll just wait until he's done, though, the next one. Because I don't want to make that mistake and then have to, you know redo this entire fence because <laughs> that that's that's super uh, super super pain in the butt uh, but yeah this this fence should improve our uh, wealth value so we can get some more people in here and we need people we need we need general labors more than anything else is is owl actually working on oh no everybody's eating yeah we, we could get our table we can't even get our table and stuff set up well we could I think we'll probably be eating in here for a while at least for a while anyway um, we could also another thing we could do is we could get we need to get the get some bandages going and we've got some silkweed we're gonna have silkweed growing we already have silkweed growing which is fantastic so let's get um i don't know let's get oh she has to be level one for that oh so let's get her to build some more healing tonics then sure i'm surprised she isn't level one already but that's okay get her to build some more healing tonics let's get five more of those actually yeah let's just get five more of those and we should always maintain five i think five is kind of the baseline and we're gonna maintain five bandages as well as soon as she's able to build them shinx 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 the uh, herbalist <laughs> look at her go away she goes so she's just she just threw them down here that's fine that's fine we could actually make a little storage area in here just for healing potions and stuff near the beds i don't know if that's a wise choice or not um we're gonna be sleeping and eating in the same spot which is gonna be uncomfortable for everybody <laughs> For a while, anyway, for a while. All right, so let's get... Oh, this is going to be so cool. This is already coming together really, really nicely. Really nicely. Okay, we should be able to get this fence down. Did we do that right? We did. So we know in the future it's actually two... It's two fences in length to build one gate. So we know that for the future because a lot of times I, I end up screwing that up or waiting. And I don't like waiting. I just want to get things done. Uh, probably unnecessary to build all the way to the end. We could just make a corner here. But you know what? We get the extra wealth for that. Oh, it doesn't match. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. That's not good at all. Okay, so what we're going to do... <laughs> uh, I don't know what we're going to do. Um, if I did the fence... Hold on, let's rotate this. If I did the fence... How would I get that to match? 
Like, it's hard to get these things to match sometimes. Hmm. Okay, well, we could build some blocks. So let's 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 see if we can make this work. I don't know. I, I still think they're going to be able to walk through there. And if they can, then we're going to have to do something to block that off somehow. But let's see. Let's see if we can't. Let's see, see if we can't fix this. So, oh, uh, let's put our last fence in there, like so. And then let's go to to the design and go to slabs. Let's slab it up and build just a little bit of a. Just a little barrier here. I don't know if this will work. Oh, invaders approaching, of course. Uh, where are you? Oh, Varanus! Oh, uh, hold on, hold on. Pause, 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 pause. All right, let's get our warriors in here. It's been a while. It's been a while. There we go. Uh, the Varanus, I think, is because of Varanus is going to be tougher than than average because we're playing on hard. Hard. I think we need to get both warriors in here. So let's get both of them. Uh, attack move over to here. Perfect. And dude, I think you're probably going to want to run away. Run! Uh, Sicky, Sicky, run, run, Sicky, dude, he's he's, he's not wearing a shirt. <laughs> he's not wearing a shirt, guys. Get why is Sicky not running? Why is he just standing there? There we go, whack him, hit him, beautiful. I love it. I can't wait until I can make you guys uh, knights and archers. That'll be awesome. I think for a knight you need metal. I think we need a metal shield and a metal sword. I'm not even sure. I have no idea. And then the archer, of course, we need the bow, which we. I wonder if we're gonna. We're getting close to. We must be, and I don't know what kind of materials it's gonna need either. Sorry, wrong one here. Let's go. The bow. The bow is gonna require. Yeah, we we'll have to promote. Uh, we'll need leather. So yeah, we might as well wait because to get leather, we'll, we can either trade for it. So that would be officially loot. And there was some other loot over here. Otrin the Mason has achieved Mason level three. Yay! Awesome. And uh, there was some other loot over here, maybe from those stone golems. I guess. Yeah, these these are loot. So. Can I just click on, there used to be a loot button. I don't remember where it is. I Maybe maybe they removed it, I'm not even sure. So, oh uh, yes, uh, I'm sh where did it go? Where There it is, loot button. Then you can just highlight anything that needs, that is c categorized as loot. Cause some things, unless they, unless you actually tell them to pick it up, if it's considered loot, they won't actually touch it. So you actually have to uh, uh, tell them to go collect it. So that way it just cleans it up, cleans it up a little bit for us. There we go. So we've got our fence up and we're just waiting for them to build that, that last little pillar. But just like last time, I have a feeling that they're going to be able to walk through that. Shinxi just got a level now, too, as well. Shinxi the Blonde has reached Herbalist level 1, which means she can build those bandages, which is great. Um, so maybe we should do another row of... Yeah, let's do another row of Silkweed. One more row of Silkweed, I think, would be really good. Silkweed, there we go. And uh, so, perfect. By, who knows? By tomorrow, we may even have... Uh, enough wealth? I don't think so, though. I don't think so. I don't think we're going to have enough. So, uh, maybe also, nobody's going to build that, probably. We need to get that built. That protects us. This fence is going to be everything. If if it works. I don't even know if it... Hey, oh, actually, I have an idea. I wonder if we did the fence... I wonder if we did the fence, like, right up to here. I wonder if that would work. That's actually not a bad idea. So, if we... For in other words... No, no, no. Ah, stupid button. Stupid buttons! I did it again. <laughs> If we did, ah, close, close. All right, no, if we did the fence like this and we rotate it and we did one, see, that's that's not even attached, right? But if we did it like that, I wonder if that would work. I'm just curious. So if we, but they won't actually attach it. I wonder if they'll attach it if I do that. They'll probably put it on top. But if that works, then that would hold them out. That would be secure, I think. But I bet you when they put this fence down, it's gonna be it's gonna be it's gonna be awkwardly placed. But if it was actually attached like that, that would be amazing. Then I'll do the same thing on this side too as well. But we'll see. Guys, we're almost out of time already. Can you believe it? It feels like we did nothing this episode. <laughs> I can't believe how fast time goes by. But we're going to be doing a Stone Hearth every couple days. Um, we're going to be playing. I'm going to be playing a lot of it because I've missed it a lot and I really love this game. So uh, I will wait until morning, actually. I think we're going to wait until morning when uh, the sun comes up. I want to see if they put this. Hey, that worked. Oh, fantastic. I also... I'm going to let them finish that off. It doesn't hurt to have the extra fence there, but we're going to do that uh, the same thing on the other side. That should be secure. I just want to be sure the bad guys can't just walk in. So yeah, so we do one like that and one like that there. And that should keep us 100% secure. See, in the last series, we had little gaps like this and they were just able to walk right through. So that should hold them off. And if they can't, if they can't get through the gates, then does that mean that there's nothing they can do? There's nothing they can do. And eventually we'll get rid of the trapper and we'll have a shepherd. 
and we'll be and we won't we won't need to trap so we can keep we the entire our entire civilization will be behind this wall as so long as the enemies can't destroy the walls i think we're gonna be safe oh that's so great <laughs> i love it i absolutely love it maybe we should demote one of the warriors no no i think we just wait we just wait until morning when we get our daily update uh what what is glowing here Oh, the wooden sword. Yeah, we have a third wooden sword. Um, also, let's check in on our mason, make sure our mason is busy because our mason, we need to get up. Oh, we can build the blacksmith's hammer right now, actually. We could upgrade our mason immediately and then uh, replace. Let's build the hammer because we've got the materials to do that. And getting a blacksmith by episode two is actually really great. So I think we'll do that. We're also going to do some stone chests too as well. Let's do like, let's do like... 10 of these because these are awesome these are a great way to store stuff store stuff it was far better than this mess and we could have them inside and it's just way more space efficient as a matter of fact let's do 20 of those um that'll be good practice for her as well and also improves our wealth now of course the wealthier we get the bigger and badder bad guys are going to come after us so we do have to be careful for that but at the same time the more wealth we get the more people we get and we need people badly um, we could also, so there's the stone fire pit. No, no, no. See, to build these, yeah, we need a lot of stuff to build those. So we need to kill uh, goblins and ogres. Oh, no. Goblins and ogres. Oh, my. And bandages. We need heavy bandages. Decorative bosses. So that would be with clay working. Uh, we haven't even thought about clay. Is there anything that we even want to build with clay? No, no, no. We, You know what we could do? We could actually start getting, st we need to start constructing our first home. Or not our home, our guard post. So our guard, guard post is going to be pretty straightforward. We're going to do this. We'll probably finish this off next episode, but we'll get it started now. Might as well. well let's do, of course... Uh, the stone, I'd like to do a little bit more flavorful stone last time. Last time we, we really stuck to the sort of the, the bland gray. And I, I, I kind of got annoyed by the gray. So let's do let's do sort of that nice red stone. Yeah, that looks really nice. I like that. So, and then we're going to do a uh, pretty simple, pretty simple house. We're not doing anything fancy here. So stone, we're going to go, wait a second. Yeah, stone. Okay, so let's do stone walls. We're going to do... We could, we could do blue. Oh, no. I'll, we'll do blue for the tiles up top. And we'll do red redstone buildings. That'll look really cool, actually. So redstone like that. And it doesn't look red at all, does it? Did we do that wrong? Actually, we might have. Undo. Uh, redstone. Redstone for the walls. There we go. Perfect. Daily update. Oh, so close. Oh, we'll have it by next time. We'll have some new people by next time. Guys, I'm going to call it. Um, I think we're off to a good start. We're, we're going to build our our our, uh, our little our little guard post in the front. We've got our main wall up and running, which means... Theoretically, except for our trapper and our guys running out to meet the enemies, Fork Spire is already a keep. It's already well defended. But anyway, guys, I hope you're enjoying the series, and we'll see you next time. Take care.